Good afternoon. Hello. Thanks for having me. I am delighted to share some time and learn who you are. So would you do us the honor introducing yourself and tell us what you do? Thank you. Well, my name is Greg Bybee. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Avella Education. And we make the first and only platform for making equitable decisions in education. And let me explain what I mean by that. So w I think it's fair to say that we're in a period where society is finally grappling with systemic inequality and implicit bias and what that means. Schools, governments, organizations are rethinking how they make decisions and allocate resources, and they're looking for tools to help them make these decisions. And so that's what Avella is. So it's a platform that matches individuals to opportunities. And that could be an educational opportunity or it could be a professional opportunity. So we're actually used across industries, education, healthcare, uh, government, nonprofit, industry. Um, but I'll give you some examples in education. So think about school enrollment, mm -hmm. matching students into public schools, mm -hmm. or allocating scholarships to, to students, or breaking college students into dorm room assignments, or breaking students into study groups. It's those sort of like allocation decisions that are typically done with a lot of implicit bias, uh, usually a lot of spreadsheets, and we help make those decisions. Um, an, an example may, may help actually. So we work with Teach for America, and they really share our focus on equity in education and advancing student outcomes. And they have 5,000 core members each year who they place into their partner schools. And previously it was done via a lot of, you know, I know it when I see it in spreadsheets and, and therefore, unfortunately, a lot of implicit bias. And so we've been working with them to now place their core members across their schools in a much more equitable and systematic way. Um, and they've had really good impact so far. So they've already seen a 33% increase in core member teacher satisfaction mm -hmm. and a 16% increase in retention. And increase in retention means better student outcomes. We worked with New York City Public Schools to place students into public schools and were able to get 30,000 more students into a first choice school. And that reduced parent dissatisfaction uh, by 90%. Um, similarly, Tulsa Public Schools, Denver found that getting a kid into their first choice school increases math achievement by 0.4 standard deviations. So it's really impactful when you can find the right educational opportunity and match for each student. This is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Those examples were really clear and helped me visualize really the impact you all are having and the potential for even greater impact. So it makes sense to me now why you are an award winner. Tell us, how are you feeling today? You know, it's really great that, because I, I think it indicates that the industry is recognizing the importance of equity in these decisions. Uh, it hasn't been in the conversation previously, and I think this year we're really starting to see it take the forefront. Uh, and so it's an honor to be a part of that. And I think it's really important that I mention my co-founders, Josh and Prog, because they've been doing this far longer than I have. They've spent 20 plus years working with school districts um, from Denver and Boston, Chicago, New York, New Orleans to help them improve their student enrollment processes and allocation. Uh, and now we've built a really stellar team. Uh, one of my colleagues from Novo Ed, Avery, and the former COO from Bitsbox, Anastasia, uh, and many others. And we've been working together to sort of productize the research that they've done for the past 20 years. Uh, and it's really great to see that get out in the world. And it takes teamwork to make the dream work. Now, how has your experience so far with the Global Forum for Education and Learning been for you? Oh, it's been fantastic. Um, I mean, we're just coming out of COVID. This is my first conference, really first business travel in a year and a half. Um, and it's funny, I spent the previous 10 years of my education career focused on online learning. So I was at Coursera, NovoEd, and actually just yesterday spoke on a panel about online learning. And so I'm a big believer in, in how good virtual work, virtual learning can be. But you know, there's just like something you can't replicate about the in-person experience and being able to, to meet folks and, and having all the other award winners here and, and the panels. There's been a great, great community of practice and great discussions. We're excited to hear that and hopefully we'll be seeing you next year. Absolutely. Now, if we want to learn more about the work that you're doing, want to stay connected, what's the best way to do that? Oh, well, Googling is always easiest. Avella Education, and it's A-V-E-L-A. -E Otherwise, you can just go to avella.org, and you can always email me, greg at avella.org. Fantastic. Thank you for taking time to talk to us, and congratulations again on your award. Thank you very much.